Mm. Okay, getting back to the hybrid fishes, the, one, <coughs> the range which I've been spending a lot of time on the last five or six years. This has been the best seller that I've had. Uh, it's called the Fat Bullet. I've come out with a little bit, a bit of a different look this year with it, with a, a fading rail, a rail band. Uh, it also um, will, will probably have the carbon wrap on it too, I think, but this one hasn't. Um, again, it's the hull has been very, very successful this year. You can see the hull, the lifting hull, uh, similar to that of the skinny bullet. Um, this has still retained its chunk, its thickness. Uh, it's been a great seller for guys who want to go short and uh, have a great paddler, but also have a very maneuverable board because the round tail quads are probably the most maneuverable boards on the face that I could ever understand or uh, that I've seen. Uh, so um, the fat bullet is. Uh, my best seller at the moment, uh, and because it's uh, finding a market that, as I said, wants to go shorter and not too, not too chunky, uh, but still be very maneuverable. Um, so that's the new look fat bullet this year. Uh, the dimensions haven't changed, I haven't tweaked it, I haven't needed to because it's uh, it's been a it's been a very successful board. So don't mess with it is my idea. So I'll put a bit of lipstick on it, done a few changes to it. Yes, it has become a five finner this year due to pressure, but again, that's a keel. Uh, so uh, this year, I think the fat ball is better than ever.